Hi guys, today we're going to talk about a portable kind of art supply, sort of a travel kit. So I have a couple of pieces of the kit already and one of them is this watercolour palette and I have a video about sort of swatching out these colours but you can see them pretty clearly here. I am kind of trying to show you the, the shimmer colours, the moonstone, the fuchsia and the sugalite are all shimmer and the rest of them are pretty uh, matte colours but it's it's my favourite little palette, I really love all the colours there and it's taken me a few years to kind of find all those colours and, and you know curate that palette. And then I also, so I still love that palette, and then I also have this watercolour book, Windsor and Newton, and I believe it's 300, um, yeah, it's 300 GSM, so it's a really thick watercolour paper, it's cotton, so it's really beautiful paper, and I've done a couple of sort of things in here, um, you know, and I haven't, uh, done the back of the pages yet but I, I I can go back and use the back of the pages because it doesn't really warp um, it's just a really nice little booklet so these are available on Amazon um, so that's part of my sort of little travel collection those two and then this tin of uh, Conti of Paris I I do have a video sort of swatching these out but what I want to do now is actually take these colors out and then sort of put my own uh, little pencil collection in here. So when I first got the superior label of the pen roll I had pencils in here so but now I kind of more have um, different sort of different um, writing instruments, pens, me me um, mechanical pencils, markers, uh, you know some supplies just sort of other things that I use so I don't um, keep the pencils on me I mostly keep them in that really large sort of pencil box um, it's just kind of a makeshift pencil box you can see here like I used to have uh, pencils in there and I really enjoyed that then it kind of went more to this style and then to what it is now so um, I want to get some pencils back into a more portable form and um, just a smaller kind of collection so that I can uh, start using some. Like when I first got those pencils and I was swatching them out here and I just kind of had a little play around um, on this page and I think on a, f a few other pages that I'll show you but I really enjoyed you know having that access and when I have this kind of large um, it's actually just the top of like a watercolor uh, box and so I've just kind of put some wrapping paper in it and I just stick all the pencils and markers and everything in there and so you can actually see this is kind of how it started out and I had just collected a few um, pencils over a few months and then over the last couple of years it's just sort of grown and I really enjoy um, all you know having all the different colors and things but I really want a sort of portable form and you can see here that there, there are the um, Conti of Paris uh, swatches and you know other pencil swatches that I got and um, trying to find some other uh, roses I think that I did here but but you know sometimes it's just not practical to carry that around um, or there might not be enough room on my desk or um, if I'm going somewhere or you know downstairs or different things so I uh, I wanted to try and figure out how I could um, you know take some pencils with me and uh, I found this Conti of Paris box the other day with the carousel in the front which I really love carousels and uh, I thought that would be a really good fit for what I'm looking for. So this is the um, 12 set as well and I think you can get it on Amazon or I think I got it from Jackson's Art and so these are the um, roses that I was just trying to look for and you can see kind of um, 
you know, they're no great masterpieces, but just kind of playing around with the pencils and um, a lot of the um, paintings in there are, you know, might be pencil over watercolour and things like that. So I want to kind of get back to um, just having a little collection of colours I can, you know, take with me. So you can see here um, there's a couple of layers sort of sitting on top of each other as well and I'm not sure that that's the best way to actually store coloured pencils. If you watch um, Kirsty Partridge art, she, a lot of what, I've, what I know about coloured pencils I've learned off her, she's really, really excellent and um, uh, so she stores all her, you know, uh, pencils really well and she has um, like special pencil sharpeners and she shows you the way that you can uh, use the pencils to sort of do all the different strokes and everything so she's really good with all that so but so I just want a, a couple of colors that's more of a um, personal sort of curated palette so I'm looking for particular colors that I sort of want to use anyway I'll get more into that but what I'm doing here is if you wanted to use a palette like a tin like this uh, I'm just kind of showing you how you could you could actually just use one tin like so I'm going to have the watercolor palette and then sort of some pencils in a different um, tin but you could use one tin like this which would be so compact and easy, you know, lightweight and easy to carry. And you could put watercolors in it, uh, pencils, a sketching pencil. Um, I'm just kind of trying to uh, go through here and start picking out the actual colors that I want in the palette. But, you know, you can actually fit quite a lot into a little tin like this. And so this is the part where I am kind of, it takes me a while to figure out what colors that I want in the tin. And I guess if you're doing something like this, I mean, obviously you can do it any way that you want, but a couple of things to take into consideration would be, I mean, you saw the colors that were in here before, and that was kind of a very, you know, you've got your primaries, you've got um, some neutrals, but what I'm looking for is um, more tertiary colors. So they're not primary or secondary. They're kind of those really nice middle colors that give you a little bit of um, a bit more. Um, I want to say something like a bit more control over the subtle variations um, and the intonations like in your painting or in your artwork so um, the the way that you you know the colors that you use will be really um, they're really important so anyway that's what I'm looking for so um, and the colors can become sort of more staples in at like as you know to go towards your style as an artist or they can just be relevant to uh, what you are trying to you know create so it might be like if your landscapes you might you know want more types of greens browns or florals would be different or portraits um, what I'm trying to do here is kind of more of a palette a little bit moody for winter and then also just my favorite sort of vibrant um sort of summery colors as well I guess but that's just more my regular palette so I'm trying to sort of put two different types of colors in here and I can't find the right green um, so I tried a few different things but you'll see at the end I think it actually came together quite well uh, the other thing I wanted to say was I am putting in this metallic gold um, Prismacolor it's a very thin so they're really like thin pencils but I really like them and uh, I'm just sort of wanted to also say there's totally different ways that you can 
sharpen the pencils different sharpeners to use and all kinds of things like that so I'm not very good at all that and I think you'll see that a lot of my pencils are always blunt I'm not very good at keeping them sharp but it is something that you should do um, good grief We just got this like torrential sort of, uh, it's not really snow, but sleet or something anyway. Um, so yeah, let's see, where, where was I? Okay, so at this point, I think this is uh, what's left in my pencil box, is that? I'm not sure, but... Um, I am going to, I had kind of, I was going to finish the video here, but I, then I realized, you know, the thing that I like about videos is when they do the, um, color swatching and things so that you know what the colors look like and stuff. So, uh, this is my final selection and I am going to go through now and, um, I'm not going to do every single pencil because just for time wise, um, on the camera. So I'm just going to swatch those and then like um you know put down the colors for you so one of the most important things that i learned off um kirsty partridge art is just the way to lay down the color which is in a circular motion and then you want you know more pressure obviously if you want the color darker and lighter pressure uh, when you want it lighter and she's really good as well she teaches you about blending colors and all kinds of different tips and tricks for using pencils I think it's really important to swatch the colors as well for you just because like in the tin they don't look as vibrant it doesn't sort of look as um, appealing of a palette but when you can see the colors on paper um, I think they really complement each other and they're really nice so one's more the wintry palette and this is more the summery palette or just really a palette I enjoy and you can see like on the right the colors are more purple heavy um and on the left you know i've the greens are more either yellow green or blue greens and the pinks i really i mean i could have a whole palette just full of pinks but i wanted to kind of get this um variety going here i also really love using the silver instead of like a so if i'm doing um some art like a sketch and I've instead of using a graphite or on top of the graphite to make the artwork last longer so that about wraps it up for today guys thanks for being here I will see you next time bye